I got your message. It was a tad on the cranky side, even for you. What's on your mind? Violence. What do you know about a wretched little pipsqueak named Kudu? Cross-reference criminal, megalomaniac, and plagiarist. I've heard of him. He's an inquest bigwig now, but he used to be Snaff's apprentice. Then you came along and Snaff traded up. That's him. Now, out of pure spite, Kudu's invited me to watch him demonstrate some sort of weather-changing device for the Arcane Council. My first invention was a weather changer. I called it the Variable Atmospheric Conditioner. Good old Vac. It got me accepted to college. It was pretty rough, but it worked, mostly. And if Kudu is using my invention without giving me credit, I'll call him out in front of the whole council. I was hoping you'd say that. Get a copy of your blueprints from the archives. We'll wipe that smug little smirk off Kudu's insufferable face. <coughs> Can't breathe! Smoke choking me! Sentences! Fire! All crest! And I've got a stomachache! Yeah, burn it all! Every last bit of it! I'm glad you're here. I heard Kudu's lackeys were going to attack the Archive Annex. Looks like I heard right. Kudu knows what he's doing. I'll give him that. The fire started in the records room, and all the Peacemaker golems have been deactivated. He's one step ahead of us, then. The blueprints for my weather device are also missing from the Archives. The only backups were stored in this Annex. Which is on fire. Come on. Without those blueprints, the trail leading to Kudu goes up in smoke. You have some. We are too late. The evidence we needed to prove Kudu stole my idea is now a pile of ashes, soot, and failure. Not a failure, a setback. Now that we know Kudu's up to something big, we just need to figure out what it is and how to stop it. I'm ready. Plagiarism and arson are one thing, but wiping out all records of my very first invention. I'm going to tattoo Kudu's butt with boot prints! That's what I like to hear. One of Kudu's lackeys has a lab nearby. Her name is Plunka, and I bet she still smells like smoke. Meet me at Plunka's lab. I predict she's just dying to tell us why Kudu wants your weather changer. Plunka's inside, and we get to beat Kudu's whereabouts out of her. Where did everybody go? And what's that over there? The doors! Soja! Kudu knew you'd show up sooner or later, and that you'd walk right into our trap. He gave me a message for you. How does it feel to be perpetually second best? Get comfortable, Footnote. You'll be old, ugly, and dead before we let you out of there. Well, older, uglier, and deader anyway. Enjoy your stay. Excuse me for interrupting, but I think we can help each other. Hey, you! What's a Silvari doing working for Kudu? The inquest considers your people disposable, little more than kindling. I was misled. My name is Peridur. Kudu tricked me into his service, and now I can't get away. I've seen what he did to the ones who tried to run. We can help. I know how to deal with Kudu. Get us out of the cell, and we'll get you out of his clutches. Kudu's crew is incredibly dangerous, but you seem familiar with their brutality, and this may be my only chance. Very well. I'll release you. Any enemy of the Inquest is a friend of ours, Paradir. Now get on that console, make us a doorway, and fall in. We're all busting out together.
for... Who let Snap's afterthought out? I did. Tell Kudu I said, I quit. Effective immediately. Now you're the one who'll be uglier and deader, Plunka, but you'll never get any older. Big mistake, Soja. Kudu wanted you alive and suffering, but I have different priorities. 